प्रेज लॉर्ड लेट आस प्रे हेवेनली फादर थैंक यू फॉर दिस डे यू हैव गिवन आस टू डे वी आर गोइंग टू रीड योर हेवेनली वॉज बी विथ आस एंड गाइड आस फ्रॉम द बिगनिंग टिल द एंड इन जीजस नेम वी आस्क ए मेन नाउ लेट आस रीड फर्स्ट किंग्स चैप्टर सिक्सटीन then the word of the lord came to jehu the son of hanani against basha saying for as much as i exalted thee out of the dust and made thee prince over my people israel and though has walked in the way of jeroboam and has made my people israel to sin to provoke me to anger with their sins behold i will take away the posterity of basha and the posterity of his house and will make thy house like the house of jeroboam the son of nebat him that died of basha in the city shall the dog eat and him that died of his in the field shall the flocks of the air eat now the rest of the acts of basha and what he did and his might are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of israel So Basha slept with his father and was buried in Tirza and Ela his son reigned in his stead and also by the hand of the prophet Jehu the son of Anani came the word of the Lord against Basha and against his house even for all the evil that he did in the sight of the Lord in provoking him to anger with the work of his hands in being like the house of Jeroboam and because he killed him in the 20 and 6 year of Asa king of Judah begin Ela the son of Basha to reign over Israel in Tirzah 2 years and his servant Jimri captain of half his chariots conspired against him as he was in Tirzah drinking himself drunk in the horse of Urza steward of his house in Tirzah and Jimri went in and smote him and killed him in the 20 and 7th year of Asa king of Judah and reigned in his stead and it came to pass when he began to reign as soon as he sat on his throne that he slew all the house of Basha he left not one male neither of his kinsmen nor of his friends thus did Zimri destroy all the house of Basha according to the word of the Lord which he spoke against Basha by Jehu the prophet for all the sins of basha and the sins of ela his son by which they sinned and by which they made israel to sin in provoking the lord god of israel to anger with their vanities now the rest of the acts of ela and all that he did and they are not written in the book of chronicles of the kings of israel in the 20 and 7th year of asa king of judah and zimri reigned 7 days in tirza and the people were encamped against gibiton which belonged to the philistines and the people who were encamped heard it and said that zimri had conspired and had also slain the king therefore all israel made umri the captain of the host king over israel that day in the camp and umri went up from Gibeton and all Israel with him and they besieged Tirzah and it came to pass when Zimri saw that the city was taken that he went into the palace of the king's house and burned the king's house over him with fire and died for his sins which he sinned in doing evil in the sight of the Lord in walking in the way of Jeroboam and in his sin with which he did to make Israel to sin Now the rest of the acts of Zimri and his treason that he wrote are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the king of Israel then were the people of Israel divided half of the people for followed Timni the son of Ginat to make him king and half followed Omri but the people who followed Omri prevailed against the people who followed Timni the son of Ginat so Timni died and Omri reigned In the 30 and 1st year of Asa king of Judah began Omri to reign over Israel 12 years 6 years reign he in Tirza and he bought the hill Samaria of Shemer for 2 talents of silver and built on the hill and called the name of the city which he built after the name of Shemer owner of the hill Samaria but Omri wrought a evil in the eyes of the Lord and it was then all over who were before him 
for he walked in all the way of Jeroboam the son of Nebat and in this sin by which he made Israel to sin to provoke the Lord God of Israel to anger with their vanities now the rest of the acts of Omri which he did and his might that he showed are they not written in the book of chronicles of the Israel so Omri slept with the fathers and was buried in Samaria and Hahab his son reigned in his stead and in the thirty and eighth year of Asa king of Judah began Ahab the son of Omri to reign over Israel and Ahab the son of Omri reigned over Israel in Samaria twenty and two years and Ahab the son of Omri did evil in the sight of the Lord above all who were before him and it came to pass as if it had been a light thing for him to walk in the sins of Jeroboam the son of Naboth that he took as his wife Jezebel the daughter of Idbal king of Sidonians and went served Baal and worshipped him and he reared up an altar for Baal in the house of Baal which he had built in Samaria and Ahab made an idol and Ahab did more to provoke the Lord God of Israel to anger than all the kings of Israel who were before him. In the days did Heel, the Bethelite, build Jericho, he laid the foundation of it in Abiram, his firstborn, and set up the gates of it in his youngest son, Segub, according to the word of the Lord, which, the, which he spoke by Joshua, the son of Nun. Now let us read the Revelation chapter 19. And after these things I heard a voice of many people in heaven saying, Hallelujah! salvation and glory and honor and power unto the lord our god for true and righteous are his judgments for he hath judged the great harlot who did corrupt the earth with their fornication and hath avenged the blood of his servant at her hand and again they said hallelujah and her smoke rose up forever and ever and the four and twenty elders and the four living creatures fell down and worshipped god that sat on the throne saying amen hallelujah and a voice came out of the throne saying praise our god all ye his servants and ye that fear him both small and great and i heard at it were the voice of a great multitude and like the voice of many waters and like the voice of mighty peals of thunder saying hallelujah for the lord god only potent reigneth let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him for the marriage of the lamp is come and his wife hath made herself ready and to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen clean and white for the fine linen is the righteous of saints and he said unto me write blessed are those who are called unto the marriage supper of the lamb and he said unto me these are the true sayings of God. And I felt at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou, do it not. I am thy fellow servant and thy brethren that have the testimony of Jesus. Worship God, for the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. And I saw heaven opened, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. And in righteousness he doeth judge and make war his eyes were like a flame of fire and on his head were many crowns and he had a name written that no man knew but he himself and he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood and his name is called the word of god and the armies that were in heaven followed him upon white horses clothed in fine linen white and clean and out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword, that with it he should smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron, and he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of mighty God. And he hath on his vesture and on his thigh a name written, King of kings and Lord of lords. And I saw an angel standing in the sun, and he cried with a loud voice, saying to all the flocks, that fly in the midst of heaven, come and gather yourself together unto the supper of the great God, that ye may eat the flesh of kings, and the flesh of captains, and the flesh of mighty men, and the flesh of horses, and of them that sit on them, and the flesh of all men, both free and un enslaved, both small and great. And I saw the beast, that the kings of the earth and their 
armies together to make war against them that sat on the horse and against his army and the beast was taken and with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast and them that worshiped his image these both were cast alive into a lake of fire burning with brimstone and the remnant were slain with the sword of him that sat upon the horse which sword proceed out of his mouth and all the fowls were filled with their flesh amen now let us read luke chapter 8 verses 41 42 and 49 to 56 And behold there came a man named Jairus and he was a ruler of the synagogue and he fell down at Jesus feet and besought him that he would come into his house and he had one only daughter about 12 years of age and she lay dying but as he went the people crowded him while he yet spoke there cometh one from the ruler of the synagogue's house saying to him thy daughter is dead trouble not the master But when Jesus heard it he answered him saying fear not believe only and she shall be made well and when he came into the house he allowed no man to go in except Peter and James and John and the father and the mother of the maiden and all wept and bewailed her but he said weep not she is not dead but sleepeth and they laughed him to scorn knowing that she was dead and he put them all out and took her by the hand and called saying maid arise and her spirit came again and she arose straight away and he commanded to give her food and the parents were amazed by he charged them that they should tell no man what was done amen let us pray heavenly father thank you for helping us read your heavenly words as you gave back the life of the little girl in the same way revive the dead things and promises in us guide us and protect us in jesus name we ask amen god bless you